Well today we're going to go to Mona and Ass, which is near Little London. This is the footpath you can take to uh, Crosby. And there's a lovely ruin up here called Balasail, which we're going to investigate today. But there's more to see before we get there, so come with me. Well, make yourself a cup of tea and um, then come with me. Probably a better idea. I don't think they're mind parked in front of this. I don't think it's got much further to go. It takes me back though. And one of the first cars I had was a little singer chamois. This is an old Hillman imp. If you didn't have a singer chamois, you had a mini. A little Coventry Climax engine in the boot. Came from an old fire engine, I think. Great little cars, great little cars. So it's only done 19,000 miles too. Just one in. Now if you watched my video about Renas Mill on YouTube a few weeks ago, this was still Renas River. And it's about half a mile from the mill down towards another place known as Renas Falls. Another one we have to do sometime. So I guess this must be a nice bridge. This is weak, but this is a lovely little bridge. Now how many times do you come for a walk on this footpath and walked over this little bridge and you never knew what you're walking over? It's a very picturesque little bridge. And I'm christening it the Renas Bridge. No doubt I'm wrong, but I don't know if there is another bridge on this river. So, Renas Bridge sounds good to me. Tricky manoeuvre. Foot path goes across the river. Look the stones. It's another lovely day to be out tonight. 2nd of May. This little footpath is going to take us, as I said, to Balasail. When we get there, a little bit of history of it. So this footpath goes over a little bridge and makes its way meanderingly into Cosby. A lovely road up to it. The high hedges give them shelter. Everything is starting to come into leaf. I think this may be a sycamore. Play the old bluebells, mate. Every year they come back. And these Spanish ones are taken over from our own Manx ones. This is a shame.
the sun is bright today. Blue bells and purple bells and pink bells are all coming out now. It's a glorious time of year, isn't it? Just coming into view now. What you're walking past there is the old garden. The thorn trees outside. You know what they're for now, don't you? It's been well fenced to keep the cattle out, which is great. Because they do knock it about a bit, I'm afraid. Say about 10 years ago, it wasn't fenced off then. And no warning signs to keep out. You can't blame farmers for doing that because there's always people wanting to make a claim, isn't there? You know, they go poke around these things, stone falls on them. Next thing is, there's a big case. So the farmer stops us going in because he doesn't want the, the trouble and you can't blame for that can you? You cannot. There's the old um, horse walk. In that barn there's an old mill. Don't go in there because the floor is completely rotten, you'll fall through it. I took some pictures of it though, many, many years ago. The house has been gone for a long, long time. There's nothing new there. Penny! So, as I was saying, this is Ballasale. Been farmed by the Kane family for many, many years. And Mr. Kane Senior only really passed away a couple of years ago, I think. Lived out just outside Peel. In the 1870s, it was farmed by a family called Brew, or Philip Brew. He had four daughters. Didn't look after them that well, apparently. Some stayed with them, some didn't. He must have had some hassles with his wife because uh, there was a court order against him anyway. And, um, he packed up the farm in the 1870s. He had a sale, it must have been quite a good farm, with 43 acres, good agricultural land, it said, house on it, out dwellings, pigsties. And as I said before, one of the other things, the thing about it is, prior to placing the ad, there was 30 geese. Just like these ones here we've got, really, farm geese. And as I said, they really fed the family for the year. Don't forget in those days, they didn't have fridges and freezers. Fresh was fresh, so 30 geese would have kept the family going for nearly a year with fresh meat and various other things as well. So it's 43 acres, there's a well somewhere, there's also a fabulous horse mill with a mill inside the shed. The house is long since gone. And I've got taken some pictures of this place about 20 years ago, so I'll stick them with this video so you get some idea how it used to look, or not completely how it used to look. 
So the horse mill is a fabulous one, fabulous one. And the workings are still inside. So you don't have to go inside because you can see them on the video. And Mr. Kane took it over in the 1880s, I think, and he had it until well into the 1920s when he retired, had a sale held uh, by Christians, and uh, he died in 1932 and was buried in Peel Cemetery. And it's been in the Kane family up until that time scale, and from then till now, basically. And now it's farmed with uh, Erie Moore, uh, farmed from Glen Helen, and uh, they farm a herd of Highland cattle. You'll see them up here when you come past for a walk with their big horns. Just having calves at the moment so quite cute. But make no mistake go near them and you'll suffer. As the signs say keep out means keep out. Anyway now we're going to walk along the footpath a bit. And I'll show you a bit more about what's around here. The sun has gone in as you can see but that doesn't stop us. As you can see, I run across the hill summit there. Well, this path, good path, well it is today, it's bone dry. It takes us up to the hills. When we get the hills, we can go out to uh, Baldwin, Crosby, back to Kirk Michael. Onto Druidale. In fact, we can go anywhere really from here. Obviously, obeying the country code shut gates and keep away from cattle. Just in the distance, there you can see. Um, one of those Highland cows and that cow was standing on airy glass. A little thrashing mill there. And large cow did some excavations up in 78 I think it was. When she discovered two gorse mills. And the gorse mills would have been used to obviously smash up gorse. And believe it or not they would have fed it to the stock in the winter time. Quite good feeding when it's um, 